Welcome back. This is Sandy from Sandy's Organized Chaos. And today I'm going to be stepping outside of the box a little and doing something a little bit more abstract. So I hope you guys enjoy. For my project today, I will be using a hog 20 ounce skinny plus tumbler. Please use any tumbler that you have on hand for this design. I'm going to prep my tumbler and I will spray paint it white with any type of primer or white spray paint. For the base of the tumbler, I'm going to be using a pearlescent powder. You can use any type of mica powders that you might have. I will also be using Reflection by Glitiful. This is an absolutely beautiful glitter. I've been wanting to use this. I've had it for about a year now. I have my epoxy all mixed up and I'm going to take my pearl powder and I'm going to put probably about two dashes into my epoxy just just so that way it gives it a nice coat over my tumbler. You just want to mix that up really well so that way there's no clumps of the powder in your epoxy. That's all mixed up. Now the next step is putting it onto my tumbler. You just want to do some stripes on the front, stripes on the back, and rub it in really well so that way it's completely covered on the tumbler. You can really see that pearlescent powder in the epoxy is so pretty. Now I'm going to put that on my turner for about an hour and a half to two hours just until the epoxy has set up and it's still very sticky. After an hour and a half to two hours, I put together uh, another ounce or two and some and two cups, and I'm going to mix this ocean blue dye, which is a super concentrated dye by Illumilite, and then I am just going to stir that up. If you don't have the dye, any uh, blue alcohol ink is perfectly fine for this. There's, there's no right or wrong way. After I have that all mixed up, I'm going to mix up a white alcohol ink in my other cup. Whatever white alcohol ink you have on hand, please use. My tumbler is all set up. I have my reflection and I'm just going to go around the base of this tumbler with that glitter. When I use the word abstract, I mean it still has the feel of a wave. It still has that that look to it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just something that represents what you're trying to go for. I'm going to start going up the tumbler and I'm going to just make an outline of where I'd like my wave to start. Now because I let that epoxy set up the way that it did, I don't have to worry about the glitter shifting when I place it onto the tumbler. I'm just going to continue to touch this up a tad and then I'm going to roll it over to the back side and I'm going to add one more just a little wave. I just want to do a small wave so that way in the end if somebody wants to add personalization it can go up in the top area there. Now that I have that about the way that I want it, I'm going to take my dye and my alcohol ink that I have set up in my other cups and I'm going to move on to the next part. I'm going to take my blue dye and I'm going to just highlight the top of my waves. I'm just going to run my, my stick around the top. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's, that's why this is abstract. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to feel like the image you are after.
Now I want to take some of that white and I'm just gonna run that along the blue as well. And then I'm going to take a heat gun or blow dryer, whatever you have on hand, and I'm going to kind of just blow that epoxy around it, almost make it look like it's tie dye. going to take my stick and I'm going to smudge that blue around into the white on my tumbler. Once the front is done, I'm going to roll the tumbler over and do the same exact thing on the back side. I just want you guys to remember there is no right or wrong. However you think it should look, make it look that way. Now here you can see the front and what I've done so far. I'm just gonna continue to touch up some areas and then I'm gonna move on to my next step. I'm going to take that same blue and I'm gonna start highlighting the under part of the wave with that blue, just dabbing it around until I get it the way that I want. I put that on my turner for a second and I, I'm also going to use Olaf by Glitterful. It is the same kind of cut that shard glass look and I'm going to add some of that Olaf around the top of my wave as well. could stop here and leave it as is it's beautiful just the way it is I'm just going to tap some of that shard glass down so it's in my epoxy better but I want to add just a little bit more to it so I'm going to keep going and I'm going to from the opposite direction bring down another stripe of that reflection glitter you just want to swirl it around the top to connect so it keeps that wave look that you're after Here I'm just kind of looking over my tumbler and seeing where else I need to fill in with my glitter. decided to add another stripe of that glitter connecting the smaller wave to the front. I really like the way that turned out. I'm just going to keep bringing that glass, that shard glass glitter around and I'm going to just kind of tap down some areas fill in here and there, and then I'm going to place it on my turner for the next step. Now that it is on my turner, I'm going to take my blue. It is nice and thick at this point, so that way wherever I put it, it will stay. If you notice, it's making it a lot deeper in areas, and that's what I'm trying to go after. I want, I want that depth to the blue.
I'm even going to take that blue and I'm gonna kind of smudge it up into the white areas as well, just to give it a little bit more character. Now I'm going to take a gold mica powder. This is Aztec by PDB Blank, so you can use whatever you have on hand. I have another small cup with just a little bit of epoxy that's been set up for a while, so it's nice and thick, and it will stay right where I want it to stay. I'm going to continue to just highlight those wave areas, just, just where I think it would need the gold. You can add a lot, a little, it's totally up to you. I'm going to let that spin for about three hours, Give it a good coat of clear coat and finish it up with a couple more coats of epoxy. Each step that I did, I had extra epoxy, so I went ahead and I made a matching coaster as well. And it is all done. Whether you take this design and make it as I've shown you, or you take inspiration and make something completely your own, I hope I've made abstract something that looks fun and easy to do don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my tutorials i have coming your way if you would like to purchase this tumbler and coaster set i'll have the link available in the description below once it is sold it is gone this is a one-off tumbler thank you for joining me and i will see you guys next time